audience. It is really exciting to turn the pages of history and particularly when it is about the foundation of artificial intelligence. Most of the works is done in AI's logical and mathematical dimensions by a number of philosophers, logicians and mathematicians. The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 by John McCarthy in the Dartmouth Conference MIT that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Artificial intelligence is pivoted around the assumption that the process of human thought can be mechanized. The study of mechanical or formal reasoning possesses a long history. Chinese, Indian and Greek philosophers have developed structured methods of formal deduction in the first millennium BC. Their ideas were developed over the centuries by philosophers such as Aristotle who gave a formal analysis of the syllogism, Euclid whose elements was a model of formal reasoning, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi who developed algebra and gave his name to algorithm. Aristotle is the founder of the laws governing rationality of human mind. He devised an informal system of syllogisms. It is a kind of logical argument that applies deductive reasoning to arrive at a conclusion based on two or more propositions that are asserted or assumed to be true for reasoning, which permits one to draw conclusions mechanically, given the premises. Later on, Raman Lull propounded the idea of reasoning using mechanical artifact. His concept wheel is one of the such artifacts. Thomas Hobbes proposed that reasoning was like numerical computation. We manipulate mathematically, adding and subtracting within our mind. Way back, the famous architect and painter Leonardo da Vinci designed a mechanical calculator. A recent reconstruction of the calculator have shown that the design was quite functional if it would have been built. However, the first known calculating machine was built around 1623 by German scientist Wilhelm Schickard, although the Pascaline built by Blaise Pascal has earned more fame. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz built a mechanical device intended to carry out operations on concepts rather than numbers. Its scope was limited, however. René Descartes provided the first clear idea of distinction between mind and matter and of problems that arise. Later on, Carnap and Karl Hempel attempted to understand how knowledge can be acquired from experience. Rudolf Carnap's book titled The Logical Structure of the World defined an explicit computational procedure for extracting knowledge from elementary experience. It was taken as one of the first theory of mind as a computational process. Mind is always placed in between the knowledge and action. It is placed as a reasoning element to compare between knowledge and action to be taken or the goal set to be achieved. Action is always on the basis of knowledge we have. Knowledge can be had from books, research papers, historical documents, monographs, etc. But action shows the intelligence. Knowledge is a static, but the action or intelligence is dynamic. Famous mathematician of his time, George Boulay, who was a self-taught English mathematician, philosopher and logician. He worked out the detailed propositional or Boolean logic to show the basis of all mathematical reasoning, including the automated reasoning. The rules of propositional logic provide precise meaning to mathematical statements. These are used to distinguish between valid and invalid mathematical arguments. Gottlob Frege extended Boole's logic to include objects and relations, laying foundation for the first-order logic used to represent the basic knowledge. Alfred Tarski introduced the theory of reference that shows how to relate the object in a logic to objects in the real world. Later, Kurt Gödel showed that there exists an effective procedure to prove any true statement in the first order logic FOL of Frege and Russell, but this first order logic could not capture the principle of mathematical induction required to characterize the natural numbers. In 1931, Gödel showed that real limits do exist. Alan Turing started working on computability of theorems. He devised the Turing machine, which despite of its simplicity is capable of simulating any computer algorithm that is, steps to solve a problem, no matter how complicated it is. 
He also tried to characterize which functions are exactly capable of being computed. In later half of 1936, Church Turing thesis upheld that the Turing machine is capable of computing any type of computable function provided it consists of sufficient definition. Neurons are mainly responsible for all types of computations in the brain which are either arithmetic or logical computation. Mathematical model of artificial neurons was devised by McCulloch and Pitts in 1943. Its working is based on activation that is firing of neurons when a linear combination of inputs exceeds certain threshold limit. There are a number of types of neural networks. To name a few, feed forward, back propagation, recurrent network, etc. They are used for different purposes. Later in the given discourse, we will elaborate this concept and its utility to a larger extent. We will meet with the new AI topics in our next vlogs. Till then, keep your neurons active and keep watching. Friends, if you liked our blog and are benefited with the information given, then don't forget to subscribe it, like it and share it. Thank you very much.